Morning, Willie. Is it going to be a good day? I agree. Okay. You, Matt. Come on, Mandy. Where are we going? Please drive to highlighted route. To the highlighted route. I could have guessed that. So 73 kilometers to our destination where we're going to be loading and then we're going to book it back home. Ain't that right, Willie? Ain't that right. See, he always agrees with me. So it's uh, snowing out here in Indiana. We're in Pittsburgh, Indiana, uh, just west of Indianapolis. We're going to be going south of the city where we're going to pick up our load and that's going to take us back home. It's going to be about two days to get home from here. And with the weather that the weather networks are all saying is around up north, it might take a little longer. I hope not because I really want to go home. Food and water is stocked. You guys are good to go. Just got to get my charger. This is my long charger cord for my inverter here. See, I have like a household plug in my truck. I got everything in here except a kitchen sink, really. Put that there for now. Can't have too many cords hanging around everywhere because Sergeant, now what was I gonna do? Breakfast, all right, breakfast is in here. This is where all the food is. Let's see, let's have two of these. Oh. It's hard to do with one hand. There we go, two of these like fruit bowl things. One. And what else do we want? Let's have a pudding. Oh, there's already pudding on the dash over there. What else do we want? Uh, anything else for breakfast? How about some fruit snacks? Yeah. Welsh. Family farmer owned. Fruit snacks. All right. Farmers. Put that over there. And all we got to do now is walk to the back of my truck because as you can see, I nosed in here. So I gotta walk to the back, make sure there's nothing behind my trailer, make sure there's nothing under my trailer, nobody under my trailer, that wouldn't be good. Do the pre-trip here, and then back on out. We'll be on our way. Back at it. So this is Interstate 74 eastbound. Just coming up to Indianapolis. Go around the perimeter, I guess you'd say. Down around to the south end. <coughs> Excuse me, and go down Interstate 65 uh, to a small town down there. I forget what the town's called, but Mandy knows where we're going. Sometimes it takes them a little while to load this type of freight that I'm loading on, so hopefully it won't take them too long. My appointment's for 12 noon, and I'm going to be there at 11, so hopefully they can start on me a little early. Because if it's starting to snow here up north, it's probably snowing pretty bad. And I'm going to have to get through all of that in the next two days yet. Hoping for no road closures. So we're here at the customer or the shipper. We're loading our truck with freight. It's going to take them close to five hours to get it done. They're loading one piece at a time because they can fit in more that way. Okay, five hours. So what I did in the meantime was I cleaned off all of my windows. So that I have squeaky clean windows on the inside again. They were getting dirty. I don't know why they were so dirty. I have no idea. No idea. Somebody's an artist in here, and I can't figure out who. Couldn't be any of you guys, eh? Couldn't be either of you? No? It was you. Wasn't it, Diesel? You humble artist, you. Anyways, I did that. I have this, as you can tell, taken apart here. Because, for some reason, uh, the thingamajigger that switches the vents, you know, from, like, forward-facing vents to the defrost vents to, you know, the floor vents. For some reason, that was frozen. It's not even that cold outside. Like, it's actually pretty nice outside here. But anyways, it was frozen, so I had to thaw it out, bang on it with a hammer a little bit, because that fixes everything. So I fixed it. Me and my hammer fixed that. So now the vents work again. I was wondering why the windows were fogging up. I was like, what? I mean, I know I'm hot and everything, but I'm not that steamy hot. Seriously? Everything was just fogging up, so I fixed that so we'll, we'll have clear windows on the way home. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, install this seat cover that I got from Mom and Dad for Christmas. Uh, it's for my driver's seat here. The old seat cover I had <coughs> I had on there 
was wearing out a lot and it wasn't really doing much of covering anymore. So I took the seat cover off. I'm going to put this one on right now and see if I can figure out how to do this. That's why it's all a mess in here right now. And there we go. That is an awesome seat cover. Way better than my last one was. And this is some serious heavy duty material. Diesel, go on, give that a test. Give that a test. Come on, man, it's even weasel proof. Look at that thing. Hey, you're very comfortable too, man. Very comfortable. You know what? You gotta sit on that seat before I did, right? Right? It's okay, I'm the boss, man. You even got your food right there? <laughs> Sergeant, what happened over here, man? Your truck's falling apart. You thought you see that? Sergeant, what's going on over there? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Six like stiff in this thing. I want to sit on it too, man. Diesel's the king. He gets on. <laughs> Look at him wagging his tail. Yeah, you can you can do circles around me if you want. Why not? Why not? I'm glad it passes the weasel certification of approval. Absolutely. But seriously, this is like some serious heavy duty material. Way better than the old one that I had here. This one was just like all falling apart and dirty and much better. So thank you, mom and dad. That was a great gift. And that can actually be put to really good use. It's gonna protect my seat way better than the old one. And Diesel likes it too. Just editing up this vlog. Just had to do that last clip for you guys that you guys watched at the end of yesterday's vlog. Because I didn't do an end of day the day before. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. That looks so ugly over there like that. Not just the garbage. That's getting thrown out right away. Don't worry. That fills up so fast throughout the day. So like once a day, whenever I fuel, I go and throw that out. So at least it's all organized in the garbage can, right? And it's got a Jets logo on it, which makes it awesome. And then down there, you know, you got my Qualcomm and everything. Usually the dog food's over there. But uh, I'm letting that thaw out under there because it was frozen. Strange stuff, eh? What are you staring at? Daydreaming, man. Daydreaming about girls. Good boy. a boy. Continue. Kind of awkward now. <coughs> Sergeant, what are you doing? Just trying to stay alive, man. Just you breathing, you know, breathing, farting, stuff like that. Okay, let's get this vlog edited here and then we are going up there for a nap because they still got like three hours yet to load me. It's taking them that long. Uh, it's not really their fault, it's just the kind of freight it is. They gotta load one piece at a time and it's all on the floor, not on balance. So, while they do that, I'm gonna go to my happy place. It's called Dreamland, where all things are possible. And I could fly there. I don't know if you knew that or not, but every once in a while, I fly. We are finally back on the road. It took them all day to load me. I got out of there uh, just before the sun started setting. So now we're coming up to the southern part of Indianapolis here. We're gonna go around or through Indianapolis. And as long as the weather agrees with me, we're gonna be home tomorrow evening. Then we'll be home till the following Monday. We'll be home for the New Year's season. And then we'll figure out what life brings us from there. But it is 1,700 kilometers to home from here. That is, uh, what? Just under 1,100 miles. So I've got a full day, almost. And I can drive. Well, yeah, I got a full day to drive tomorrow. And I should be able to get far enough today yet so that I can make it tomorrow. But tomorrow's got to be a really good weather day. I hear that there's snowstorms up north. I hope they're all burnt out and snowed out by the time we get up there. Because I can't afford any delays. Indianapolis. City of races, right? There's downtown off to our left there. Continue 2.7 kilometers, then keep left on to I-65 North. I know where I'm going, woman. What'd you say? What, left? Left? Okay. I think I gotta move over then. Excuse me. 75 foot unit of 80,000 pounds needs to move over. That blinky thing. 
There you go, you get it. Ah ha ha. Thank you very much. I need to move over one more lane yet. One more lane. One more. One more. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alright, so now we're in the right lane. This is Indianapolis. Wendy's at the pilot. Not the best choice for supper, but what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta give in and get the good stuff. Greasy, heart-stopping good stuff. We're here at the pilot here. Let's see, Mandy, where are we? Where are we, Mandy? Oh, we don't even want to focus here. Hebron, Indiana. We're on our way up north. We're gonna get into Wisconsin tonight, at least, at least up until uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. That's the minimum goal that we have for ourselves. Chicago. You and all your crazy drivers. Here we are. I blend right in. Going underneath the Southland Lincoln Oasis here. It's like a little rest area with never enough truck parking. You know, they make these awesome rest areas. Look at this big thing. Like a bunch of restaurants and rest area right above the freeway here, right? But they never make enough truck parking. There's like 10 spots in there. And there's like 10,000 trucks on the road here. But whatever. That's just my own opinion. Whatever. You know, whatever. We don't need to park. We can just keep going. Not like truck drivers have to pee every now and then or something. I don't know. That's why as a truck driver, you know that there's very little parking for you going through Chicago. So, you gotta make sure you relieve yourself before you get to the city limits, because there is nowhere to stop once you're in here. And it takes like an hour and a half to get through the city. At least, that's on a good day. That's with no traffic. If you hit traffic, well, you might be sitting here, you know, three, four hours. If you gotta go to the bathroom really bad, well, <laughs> hope you got a jug or something. I don't know. But then you can't really, pull over anywhere and relieve yourself, right? You gotta keep driving. I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite part of the Illinois Toll Road. Watch this, magical stuff. Boom, toll is paid. I didn't even have to slow down. How awesome is that? Why isn't every toll road like that? But then again, I wonder, how do they- 16 kilometers on I-294. Thanks, man, he's always interrupting me. How do they enforce that when people just drive through, you know? Obviously they take pictures of the license plate and bill the registered owner of the vehicle. That must be a big pain in the butt. Like mailing out all these tickets and fines for not stopping to pay the toll if you don't have that electronic easy pass. But whatever. I'm not complaining because I like it. I'd like some more of it. We're in Wisconsin. The setting has changed a little bit. A little bit more snow here. Just picking myself up a nice coffee and some lactose-free milk, because Wisconsin's the only place you can get lactose-free milk at a truck stop. Gotta love Wisconsin. Most places you gotta go to Walmart. So this is the quick trip in Mauston, Wisconsin. It's the quick trip where they have that semi standing on its end. You see that truck over there? All the way back there, that sign. It's like a tower, but it's a, a tractor trailer sitting on the back of its trailer with a truck straight in here. You can sort of see its axles there. We're looking at the bottom of it right now. Up here in Wisconsin. Look at all this snow here, eh? It's a little different than where we woke up in uh, central Indiana this morning. There was no snow down there and I actually had the truck shut off all night and it was warm enough that I kept warm without any heat or anything. Now look at this. The temperature outside right now is a balmy. Come on, focus for me. Minus five degrees Celsius. You can sort of see it there. In Mauston, Wisconsin, it is 12 a.m. You boys ready to keep going? Oh, look at that. I'm ready, man. Oh, me too. I'm ready. Let's go. It's ready. Old Glory is keeping you company there. And the other Old Glory's up there. This is just daydreaming. <laughs> All right, well, we got a couple hours we can go yet. Uh, not too much further, but I want to get a little further than this. We're here in Menominee, Wisconsin. I almost said Ontario for some reason. We're in Wisconsin. Uh, Love's truck stop is behind us just across the road. I'm going to stop at this little, uh, I'm going to call it a no-name truck stop because I don't know what it's called. It's a small 
smaller one, but I saw that there was parking here. So as long as there's parking, that's all I need. I just need some parking. Pretty please. Find ourselves a resting spot here and shut our eyes for a bit until we can go again legally. Lots of snow here. Lots of snow. There's a spot right in there. If I need it. I'd like to have a spot where I'm more off on my own, but what can you do, right? How was your day? It's splendid. Thank you. Thank you. You almost went for it, didn't you? You know the rules. You can only lick yourself when I can't see you. I don't want to see that stuff. I know it's a natural dog thing, but it's not a natural human thing. Alright, that ain't right. Do that on your own time. Diesel, how you doing back there, man? How you doing? Looks like you're all comfortable. I guess you were on day shift and you're on night shift, right? You guys both look kind of tired. Hey, who's going to guard the truck through the night? You think the flag will? I don't know. I don't know. We're here at this, uh... What does that, what does it say there? Cedar Country, I think it says on the... On the building there, Cedar Country truck stop. See that little yellow sign over there that says Loves. Uh, Loves is just across the street, and we're in this little snowy parking lot here. Up in our own little world. A whole lot more drivers over there taking a snooze. Probably all sleeping already. It, it wasn't that bad of a day. It wasn't. It was a hard running day. We ran pretty hard. We only stopped for our half hour break, and that was it. Well, and a couple of times to run around well they ran around so i will see you tomorrow if you want to know more about me or see past vlogs of mine throughout the years links are down below in the description you are watching this on new year's eve so happy new year to you unless you're in australia it might already be new year's day because you guys live in the future you lucky people you and your kangaroos and your koala bears think you're all that living in the future if you're out there, let me know what it's like. Let me know what the future's like. I'm still in 2015 over here. So let me know what 2016 is like over there in Australia. Just leave it down below in the comment section there for me. Uh, any other comments are welcome as well. Thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you think of the video. I prefer thumbs up, but that's just me. Doesn't really matter to me. Let me know. I will see you tomorrow. Between 4 a.m. and noon, let's say. Let's shoot for 4 a.m. though, all right?